Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Chinese troops recently arrived at Sihanoukville port in Cambodia, marking the commencement of the annual Golden Dragon joint military exercise between China and Cambodia. The exercise, involving the Southern Theater Command of the Chinese People's Liberation Army and the Cambodian Royal Army, aims to enhance bilateral cooperation and strengthen military readiness in the region. Amidst the unloading of equipment and preparations at a Cambodian Royal Army training base, the exercise is set to involve 1,315 Cambodian military personnel and 760 Chinese troops, supported by three Chinese warships and 11 Cambodian ships. The 15-day exercise, focusing on counterterrorism and humanitarian relief efforts, underscores the collaborative efforts of both nations to address regional security challenges. The Golden Dragon exercises, initiated in December 2016, symbolize the deepening ties between China and Cambodia, with Cambodia emerging as a key ally in Southeast Asia. China's significant economic influence in Cambodia, evidenced by substantial financial support and infrastructure projects, underscores the strategic partnership between the two nations. However, China's expanding presence in Cambodia has raised concerns among neighboring countries and the international community. Projects such as the Funan Techo Canal, financed by China, have drawn scrutiny due to their potential geopolitical implications, particularly concerning regional security dynamics. The presence of Chinese naval vessels at Cambodia's Reem naval base and ongoing tensions in the South China Sea further underscore the strategic significance of the Golden Dragon exercises. While the scale of the exercise may appear modest, it serves as a demonstration of China's regional influence and military capabilities, potentially influencing the strategic calculus of neighboring countries. In conclusion, the Golden Dragon 2024 exercise highlights the evolving military cooperation between China and Cambodia and reinforces China's ability to project power in Southeast Asia. As the exercise unfolds, its broader implications for regional security and geopolitical dynamics will undoubtedly be closely monitored by stakeholders both within and outside the region. That's all for now. See you later.